Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a full review guide of the brand new Italian premium tier 8 aircraft carrier Aquila. Aquila, which means eagle in Italian, was an Italian aircraft carrier converted from the transatlantic passenger liner SS Roma. During World War II, work on Aquila began in late 1941 at the Ansaldo shipyard in Genoa and continued for the next two years. However, with the signing of the Italian armistice in September 1943, all work was halted and the vessel remained unfinished. Aquila was to have been the first representative of her ship type in the Regia Marina, but the plans to complete her were set back by the country's capitulation in 1943 and Aquila was eventually scrapped in 1952. So a new Italian aircraft carrier enters the game. The Aquila will be available in the armory, the lowest cost being 12,300 doubloons, and then for various price bundles in the premium store from Friday 22nd of July. Now as a bonus for my loyal subscribers, there is a giveaway on this video for one lucky winner of the Aquila. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the format you see here on screen in the comment section below this video. I'll draw the winner on my live stream in roughly two weeks from the release date of this video. So good luck to everyone that enters. So with that being said, Let's start this review guide with ship upgrades and captain skills I'm using in this gameplay footage. So you can see here on screen this is the build I'm using. Air groups mod 1, aircraft engines mod 1, aerial torpedoes mod 1, torpedo bombers mod 2, flight control modification 1, 5 upgrade slots and the captain build there is nothing really out of the ordinary. It's max tank on the planes, applying extra damage to the torpedoes. Now one could choose for enhanced armor piercing ammunition to improve the rocket damage by 3%, but I've chosen for some extra utility for the aircraft instead, but this is a viable option. So using a simple port screenshot, we can see here the armor layout on the Aquila. Complete 19 millimeter coverage, the main flight deck gets 25 millimeters and the superstructure gets 13 millimeters. So large coverage of 19 millimeters. Now if we just put up another one of the Citadel armor, you can see a torpedo bulkhead of 19 millimeters. The actual deck armor on the Citadel is 80 millimeters. And the Citadel armor itself is 30 millimeters, both the Adwar ship and the Citadel. This ties in directly to the survivability. The Aquila gets 51,100 hit points and a torpedo protection damage reduction of 13%. So if we compare this with some recent releases, the Chikalov, for example, has 51,000. 700 other premiums include the indomitable has 51,400 so it's about par for the course a little bit more than the hornet that is also recently released with 50,000 hit points so it's on par in terms of hit points so like any aircraft carrier the most some of the most important details are its aircraft aquila gets two Two attack groups, attack aircraft firing armor-piercing rockets and torpedo bombers. These attack aircraft, I've put up the details here on screen, they get 1,230 hit points. With this exact build, they have a speed of 173 knots. This can be boosted to 214 knots, an engine boost time of 6 seconds, and the reload time on this engine boost is 10 seconds. 5 aircraft per attacking flight and 10 aircraft per squadron. And again, with this build, 
they get 26 aircraft on the deck. The aircraft preparation time per unit is 52 seconds. And these aircraft have a detectability range of 10 kilometers. Now, most importantly, these rocket attack aircraft fire armor piercing rockets, 12 rockets per payload, with a max rocket damage of 1150. Moving to the torpedo bombers, these get more hit points due to this build, 1436. They have a speed of 173 knots, which can be boosted to 209 knots. The engine boost time is 23 seconds, but suffers from a slightly slower reload time of 40 seconds. You get two aircraft per attack flight, with six aircraft per squadron, and 20 of these aircraft on deck. The aircraft preparation time is slightly slower per unit at 61 seconds, and they have the same detectability range of 10 kilometers. Now, each of these aircraft carries one torpedo in payload. The max damage is 7,133. They have an aerial torpedo speed of 32 knots. These torpedoes have a max firing range of 3.5 kilometers and a torpedo arming distance of 423 meters. We were to make a quick comparison with another famed torpedo squadron based ship. It's the Kaga. The damage from the Kaga's torpedoes for example, are 5,400, albeit you have less torpedo planes. So, moving on to the Aquila's secondary armament. Aquila gets eight single-mounted 135mm. These have a reload time of 10.2 seconds, and the max firing range is 7 kilometers. They fire high explosive shells. They have a maximum alpha damage of 1950. They have a 9.5% chance of setting the target on fire with 23 millimeters of penetration and a shell speed of 875 meters per second. Moving to the AA defense, Aquila gets a rating of 67. Quite a formidable amount of AA mounts, although the vast majority of these are 20 mm 22 sextuple gun mounts so 132 20 mm guns in total also gets a larger gun caliber 12 single mounted 65 mm this all amounts to a continuous average damage of 372 short range damage is 325 while medium range damage is 206. Most notably, the Aquila fires no flak explosions, and the max firing range is 3.7 kilometers. So again, I repeat, no flak explosions in defense. When it comes to maneuverability, the Aquila has a base speed of 30 knots. This can be improved to 31.5. When mounting the Sierra Mike signal flag, a turning circle radius of 950 meters and a rudder ship time of 12.9 seconds. So finally, concealment wise, the Aquila gets a concealment rating of 43, which equates to a surface detection range of 13.4 kilometers. Now, you must remember this is with this build. I am neither using the concealment mod in slot 5 nor am I using hidden menace which can greatly increase the detectability range. When mounting the concealment system mod 1 in slot 5 this concealment drops to 12.1 kilometers and should you choose to go the route of hidden menace which reduces detectability range by a further 15% and remember, this will also reduce the detectability range of your aircraft by a further kilometer from 10 kilometers down to 9 kilometers. So you do have the option here if you prefer the more stealthy approach. 
Autopilot mode so a quick summation of what is good and bad about the Aquila. Starting with what makes her stand out, she does get the third fastest aircraft behind the indomitable and Graf Zeppelin. The torpedo bombers are quite useful with very high damage and high blooding chances and tight dropping spreads. These torpedo bombers also feel very maneuverable while attacking. The attack aircraft drop a large number of rockets per attack, 60 in total. These AP rockets have a low arming threshold and a short fuse timer and have very high reserves, especially the attack aircraft and quite a fast restoration time on these aircraft. Now, a little bit more on the negative side, these planes do have a very low amount of HP in comparison to the rest of the tier 8 aircraft carriers. A very small number of attacks per squadron it can be very difficult to drop destroyers. They need to be already hard spotted for you to successfully land an attack. The torpedo speed does feel a little bit slow having only a 30 knot base speed. The armor it does feel quite weak and the anti-aircraft defenses do feel quite vulnerable especially with the lack of any kind of flak so she is vulnerable to getting sniped by enemy aircraft carriers. Still however it is the first Italian aircraft carrier in the game so for this reason alone I do expect it to be quite popular especially among the Italians in the game. So as I stated earlier there is a giveaway active on this video for the Aquila. All you have to do is leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comment section below in the format you see here on screen. If you'd like to see some live gameplay I will be playing the Aquila on stream along with some others so if you'd like to see some live gameplay feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. I look forward to seeing you all. Like to thank you once again all for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos 
and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sealing it like you stole it. <laughs>